you want me to catch this one? We're looking for whip spiders tonight because they have a remarkable navigational ability. Yeah, 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 you got it. They come back each night faithfully to the same little refuge site in this large tree that you've seen a little bit of. Yeah, you got it. Here, here, come up. here, here. here. Come up. If you don't get it, they usually disappear into the tree crevices and that animal is lost for the night. No! No! Well, they're very aggressive. They can draw blood. And you gotta toughen it. Once you have the animal, you're not gonna drop it just because it's pinching you. Oh. We'll take this animal right now. All we do is use super glue. And we're going to put this radio transmitter on. Don't squeeze on that. We'll take it about 10 meters away to a place it's never been to before and see how successful it is in navigating back to the tree where we found it. You can generally see them progressively moving closer to the home tree over a series of days. There's a guy that was away, 10 meters away, and he's pretty much at exactly the same spot when we captured it. That's pretty flipping remarkable. It becomes reminiscent of the kinds of things that homing pigeons do and sea turtles do. What sensory information are they using? Are they smelling their way back? Are they seeing their way back? Are they hearing their way back? So for some of the animals that we've captured, we're going to cover the tips of their antenniform legs with nail polish. And the question is, do you get back? They can't. It implies that smell and touch information is crucial for these animals to figure out how they're going to get their way back home. It's really, really exciting to look at how a true kind of navigational system can evolve with a relatively simple nervous system that these guys have. This is the big guy, right? Yeah. 